These bison currently live in Elk Island National Park near Edmonton, but soon they'll be transported seven hours north to the Woodland Cree First Nation. Bison uh, uh, create food for the people. Um, they revitalize uh, culture, language and tradition. Bison haven't been a part of the Woodland Cree tradition for over 100 years. But lands manager Lawrence Labouche says it's something his community is prepared to take on. He says over 600 acres of land has been set aside for the herd. The majority of the people in the community have their own horses. So in that sense, they apply that knowledge to uh, be able to take care of them. Also, some of them have uh, cows. It all started when the Woodland Cree signed a Buffalo Treaty in 2019. Now Parks Canada will move 14 wood bison to the Martin Lake Reserve. We'd, we'd want to keep our populations up and rising and also um, be able to harvest them as well. Elder Kathleen Laboucan says this reintroduction is necessary. Well, diversification right now is very important. And I think, you know, this as a food resource, potential food resource for us, it will take uh, some getting used to. But we, you know, we also need to, you know, adapt to changes for, for the future. Our land base is shrinking, you know, like, and um, moose populations are shrinking. So we need to, you know, put a plan in place that'll take care of our kids in the future. The bison will be transported to the reserve later this winter. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Fairview.